Would you have some changes to your lineup here tonight? No Austin Watson. Yeah, Watson out. Um, it's been playing really banged up, and then took another one uh, in Florida, so he won't go. Goche will come in. Uh, Redley went down, so Gambrell will come in. Is, is Watson a possibility in the final two games, or is that probably done? Yeah, yeah, he's been playing hurt for a while now, um, like a lot of guys. Um, and then now it, it was his one foot. Now it went the other one, so he barely walks. So. Is there a chance any of the other injured players, Shabbat or Chikrin? No, or they're all done. Rounds? Yeah, yeah. That, uh, that game on Thursday. When, when's the last time you got ejected from the bench of a oh, junior? Maybe. I don't know. I, I asked, um, uh, we got a snowing the goalie penalty earlier in the game, and I Scooter has snowed the goalie, and I wanted to know why they didn't get the snowing the goalie penalty and didn't like it, I guess. But was that also fun? That, the temperature just kept rising in that game. Like, was that just a function of your... Yeah, I think frustration. I mean, come out 21 shots, you know, out-chance them, out-play them, out-work them. And you get that kind of result is is really frustrating. How, how does your message like up until last game you guys were in the playoff race and now you've just got three games left and you're mathematically limited. I'm just wondering how your message or does your message or how does your message change to the players in, in the final three games? We will we will work right to the final buzzer. We will do everything to win games. Um, you know whoever's hurt or not hurt, whoever's in the lineup, will play the right way and we'll do it right to the end. It's, it's not going to change. I think it's the fabric of who you are, you know, our leadership group. They've done it right for a long time. I think we've outchanced the last five or six teams we've played. We've played, you know, to me, that, that back end has played really well, and I expect that they'll continue to do that. Greg and Marilyn and sit down just to kind of help Belleville. Yeah, obviously they're in a push there, and those two guys will help. Obviously, you'd love to be in the playoffs. We know that, and you've had a whole bunch of injuries to deal with all season long. But for those of us who aren't around the team all the time, how much progress do you feel this group has made uh, as in terms of steps forward this season? Well, tons. I mean, it, our our core group has really taken a step. You know, Timmy, Brady, Drake, um, these guys that are you know consistency wise. Um, you know, the back end has improved. Brandstrom's come along really well. Sanderson. Um, you know, it, it's hard to say where you'd be if you had Norris. I mean, I don't know how many teams played 75 games without what they thought was their number one center coming into the year, and that's what we had. But I, I think the most crushing is the goaltending. Um, you know, with Forsberg and these guys being out, it's, you know, we've played seven goalies in there. And, you know, they're young guys, they're going to be good goalies, but there's a reason why you play two, three, four, five years in the American League before you get here. Was Talbot getting hurt in training camp just what? cycled this into being such a bad experiment yeah i mean you know we what i think pierre did a real good job bringing in two goalies that we thought would you know push each other all year talbot's injuries um you know have you know got him out of rhythm and then forsberg rarely gets hurt and you know that situation there it's done for the year um you know to have them both out at the same time i mean i you know I, I don't know what I don't think there is another team in the league that's had both goalies out, you know, for the last two months of the season. When you look at Jake Sanderson's year, and there's going to be a lot of talk in the weeks ahead about the Calder Trophy, um, why do you think he should be maybe a, a finalist for uh, for that award from from your uh, perspective? Well, it's just the way he's evolved. He's now playing against the other team's best players um, and doing it well. He can run the power play. He's one out the door on the kill. Um, for his age, the amount of minutes and the important minutes that he played here in the last month or so against the top. I mean, that March was as hard to schedule as, as there was. Every team was almost a playoff team. And, you know, he's arguably one of our best players every night. So he's only going to continue to get better. It is really amazing at this age that he's doing it. You, you played the position. Have you ever seen a rookie defenseman come in like that? Just not, not a guy that's come in and wants to defend. I mean, everyone wants to get points. And that's how you end up a minus a whole bunch. And then you figure out eventually that you have to play defense. And it's defense first league and let your skill take care of itself. And he's come in and done that. Coach, tonight is the first of two fan appreciation nights. Uh, from the team side, how has it been having the fans back at Canadian Tire Center the way they've been? Well, it's been unbelievable this year. You know, compared to other years, obviously there was you know, no fans the one year, but even limited fans when, when we were right at the bottom. I think you come and we give you an effort every time. 
I think it's exciting for these these young guys to hear the fans, to be sold out, and I think it's only going to continue. As they get older, they're going to be sellouts every night. I mean, there's just too many good players. People are going to want to come and see them. I should ask you um, just the, about the contribution Derek Broussard has made. He's unbelievable. Obviously, our power play without him is not near the same that other unit. Um, 13 goals. You know, it's a huge hole right now on the on that you know down the lineup. He's one of the guys that provided consistent scoring in the bottom six. Um, and just his leadership around the room, guys really respect him. Do you see him as a guy who, I mean, he owns part of the Hall, the Gatineau Olympics, as a guy who, if he doesn't play next year, will stay in hockey? 100%. Uh, I think, you know, whether it's management, coaching, uh, TV, he'll be in hockey for sure. He loves it. He's, he's knowledgeable. Um, his experiences will allow him to do it, and, and, and he loves it. So, I mean, uh, for sure, he'll be in hockey somewhere. Challenge final three games is probably an easy one, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, we just got to finish off strong here. I think, uh, you know, uh, for the fans and just for who we are as a hockey players, we got to play our best and uh, put our best foot forward. So that's what we're going to do. Obviously, assuming that you like the opportunity of playing Tampa Bay here tonight. Yeah, 100%. You know, they're uh, they're a very good team. You know, they're preparing for playoffs, and uh, you know, they're not going <laughs> to they're not going to let off let off easy either. I think. Uh, you know we're all professionals, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough game tonight. And uh, you know, like I said, we're gonna do our best. You um, give it any thought to playing for Team USA at the World Championships? Has that anyone reached out to you or anything? Uh, yeah, they've reached out. I, I haven't really uh, thought about it too much yet. You know, I've been worrying about here, and um, you know, gonna play these three games and uh, see where I'm at after that. So I haven't really put too much thought into it. Would that be shame? Would that be kind of a health thing too, depending on how you're feeling, kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, I think there's a lot of things that go into it. Um, I think, uh, you know, it's uh, it's a commitment to it. You know, uh, you know, it's an, I think it's like three or four weeks you, you go up there. So we'll see. I think uh, I'll think about it. You know, I like playing, so it's a possibility for sure. I mean, what could you gain from that experience? Yeah, I mean, uh, just playing for Team USA is always cool. I think that's always a special opportunity, so you can't really uh, – you can't take it for granted. So, um, like I said, after these three games, I'll uh, – you know, talk with the fam and uh, think about it and see, see where I go with it. Shane, you talked about finishing the season strong for the fans. Tonight is fan appreciation night or one of two of them at uh, Canadian Tire Center. Yeah. What can you say about how the, the fans have shown up at, in the building this year? Yeah, it's been, it's been awesome, honestly. I think uh, it just shows kind of the direction we're going. I think uh, they realize that. And, um, you know, it's been, a, it's been a good year. It's been a long year. It's been a lot of learning, uh, learning for us. But, uh, you know, they've stuck with us. And it's an exciting future ahead for us. So, uh, we're all excited, and we're just thankful for the fans. You know, they come out every night to support us. So uh, it's uh, an exciting time to be a Ottawa Senator for sure. Back in there. Yeah, but it's been a, it's been a while, so it's gonna be fun to get some ice time again tonight. Julian, tonight's uh, the first of two fan appreciation nights here at Canadian Tire Center. I know you came mid-season here, but what have you seen from the fans so far since you've been here? I mean, they're passionate. Uh, obviously, uh, we, we've had some really good crowds since I got here. Like, I, I was impressed to see that. You know, uh, they love the team, and uh, you know, we, we, we obviously want to give them a good performance for the next two games at home. The last showing against Tampa Bay was uh, a good one from you yeah. guys. Are you expecting to kind of build on that coming into tonight? Yeah, we did some videos. We're going to try to repeat the, the same thing we did against them last time. They're obviously a good team. Uh, they can. They, they can be really dangerous, so we got to be aware and play for a, a good 60 minutes tonight. I feel like you have to approach these last three games. I mean, uh, it, it, obviously, it's not fun when you're out of the playoffs. You know, nobody likes that, but it's important to uh, to keep working uh, for the next three games. You know, obviously, we play a, a full 82 game season. You don't play 79 of them, so it's just going to be important that everybody uh, has their mindset right and uh, we keep it going.